There are four members of potash bearing beds in Saskatchewan. They are considered to be some of the richest and largest known deposits on earth. Mosaic's K1, K2, and K3 operations mine the Esterhazy member. The Esterhazy deposit has attracted much interest over the past 74 years since its discovery. However, few companies have managed to tame nature as they travel through time on a deep descent to an era between 385 million and 393 million years ago when the great inland sea evaporated, leaving the bed of salts that contained potash. Just below the surface are 65 feet of glacial till, then 3,200 feet of water-bearing sections of shale, dullest stone and limestone, followed by 100 feet of rock salt before we reach the potash ore zone. Mosaic used state-of-the-art technology like 3D seismic and exploration drilling to study the geology of the proposed new K3 mine, helping select the best location for the new shafts. Just like when the first shafts were sunk in Esterhazy, Mosaic used freezing technology to control water inflow. To sink the shaft, drilling, blasting, and mucking is used to break up the ground and remove the unwanted materials from the 20-foot diameter shafts. Explosives are used to blast apart each layer. An excavator suspended from a platform known as a galloway then removes the blasted muck with a large bucket and carries the material to the surface. As the shaft sinks, it is lined accordingly. In some places, concrete is used, while in the water-bearing formations, a composite liner and seal-welded plates are used. A cover grout curtain is used through the Soros River formation. At 3,350 feet, potash level was reached at K3, marking a significant milestone for the project and for shaft sinking in Saskatchewan. I'm really excited to see that. I mean, when we drill the holes to explore for this, we only have a three and a half inch core that we look at. So, you know, we look at the grade, oh, that looks good. But when you actually excavate out and actually see what the grade is, that's exciting. That is really exciting news. This is what we wait for for uh, so long when we sink a shaft. That's, that's the target, that's the ultimate goal. The shafts will continue to be sunk to 3,570 feet to build the required steel framework to support production skips and a personnel hoist and cage. Mine development will continue to take place underground. On the opposite end of the steel framework stands a 380-foot head frame that houses massive hoists, the Kopi and the Blair. The Kopi hoist will move 60-ton skips capable of lifting 10 million short tons of potash per year. The Blair hoist will carry a cage for people and equipment. K3 is the first new production shaft successfully sunk in the province since the 1960s. The new mine will have the capability of producing potash at the lowest cost in the world in one of the best reserves on the planet. Mosaic and its shaft sinking partners, Hatch and AMC, have brought some of the most talented personnel together to overcome incredible challenges that have troubled mining companies for decades. Cost control, schedule compliance, and impeccable safety have put the K3 project on target to lead Mosaic's win and grow strategy for decades to come.